We are here at Fort Leonard Wood, and we're going to tell you some more history about the county this morning. History can be found all over Pulaski County, and that's no different for the city of Waynesville just down the road. Yeah, so, but it's not like the city didn't have any history before it became a city. So local leaders are making sure to recognize that history and people who came through before Waynesville was an official city. In 1830, President Andrew Jackson wanted to get rid of the Indians on the East Coast because the white folks wanted the land. And so they passed the Indian Removal Act. And with that act, 100,000 Indians were moved off the East Coast and forced to relocate into Indian Territory, which of course was Oklahoma. And from 1837 to 1839, those Cherokee Indians, for the most part Cherokee, moved through this area. Well, their stop here in Waynesville was along the Ruby Dew Spring, which of course is up the road. Uh, we know that they stopped here three times, starting in 1837, 1838, and 1839. We have all kinds of proof that they stopped here. And in fact, when we built this area, we had to have an archeologist come in and do a lot of research and make sure, you know, what, was it true? Uh, were there people buried here? There were a lot of things that they were interested in. And one of our goals was to get this area certified as a site on the National Historic Trail. And we began working with the National Park Service. And in 2005, we were certified as a stop on the National Historic Trail. In 2015, we completed the uh, uh, interpretive trail project, but I just think this is a wonderful addition to our community. Uh, we are a very historical town, and we have people from all over the world stop here. Stop along the Trail of Tears right here in Pulaski County. Well,